My name is Agent Dean Mickelson. What about you? Is Max short for something? No, Dean, it's just Max. Now, Max, I think we both know your parents on missionaries. No. Oh, well, for God's sakes, don't tell them that. They'd be crushed, thinking they're doing the Lord's work and all. Max, we're looking for a guy named Jeb Chelder. Do you have any knowledge of his whereabouts? Nope, never seen him before. Max, have you ever been to Colorado? Is that one of the square ones in the middle? Max, we're trying to help you. Okay? But you gotta help us too. Fair's fair. You're kidding, right? Okay, please tell me you have a stronger motive for me than fair is fair. Okay, life isn't fair, Dean. Nothing is. And to be honest, that's about the stupidest thing I think I've ever heard. I need you to help me because fair is fair. Try. I need you to help me so I don't rip out your spine and beat you with it. I might respond to that. Maybe. Max. That's enough, Dane. I'll take over from you. My name's Anne Walker. Yes, I am one of them. I'm the one they call in when everything goes kablooey. And have things gone kablooey? Uh, yeah. When we get a call from the hospital saying they've got at least two, and potentially six, previously unknown recombinant DNA life forms, one of which is gravely injured, yeah, I think we can safely say that things have gone kablooey. With a capital K. Gee, we sound so important. Hasn't anyone ever told you you're important, Max? Look, we're in a bit of a tough spot here. I know it, and you know it. And one of my f brothers is really badly hurt, so we need help. So if you could just tell me where we can get that help, we will be on our merry way. I'm not going to tell you a bunch of crap, Max. Not like the crap you've been giving us about your parents being missionaries. We both know it's not true. And we both know the FBI isn't in the business of just helping people because they're so wonderful and special. This is the deal. We've heard about you. It rumours have been filtering into the intelligence community for years about a hidden lab producing viable recombinant life forms. But it's never been verified. And people have dismissed it as being urban legend stuff. Needless to say, the very possibility that it could be true. We've had people assigned to finding and collecting any information, hearsay, and suspicion about you. You and your family. So you see, we consider you important. We want to know everything about you. But more important, if the stories are true, then our entire country's safety could be at stake if you and your so-called family get into the wrong hands. You don't know your own power. How about we make a trade? You let us learn about you in non-painful, non-invasive ways and we'll provide Nick with the best medical care available and the rest of you a safe place to stay. You can relax, you can eat, Nick can get better and you can decide what to do from there. 
And I believe all of this is straightforward because... Look, I'd love to be able to use some sort of guarantee, Max. But I can't. Nothing you would believe. I mean, come on. A written contract? My word of honour? A really sincere promise from the head of the FBI? It's just... You don't have a lot of options here, Max. Not right now, I'm sorry. Okay, well, say I accepted. Where is the safe place you're dangling in front of us? My house.